Hello, I'm Darren Ollinger here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the free capture page tool that's inside of the Prosperity Marketing System. Now, to get to the first creation step, you need to go to the menu under the Personal Branding section, then the Create Splash Page section, and click on Using Ready Tool, because that's the one where I use. The Ready Tool basically provides you with a squeeze page template, as you can see from these screenshots here, and you can change the colors of the uh, the headers, the backgrounds, the opt-in forms, and you can also edit each of the sections like the headline, the logo, and all the text. So to get started, you need to enter a page name, and then you will need to select how you want users to be joining through the form. So which option you choose will depend on your intention. If you're using the capture page tool to promote the prosperity marketing system, then you'll want to choose option A. However, if you're using the tool to build a page to promote something else, like just to build your list in general, and you don't want the user to be joining prosperity marketing system at the same time, then you'll want to choose one of the other options. So the first option allows you to have both the Prosperity Marketing System signup form and your autoresponder integration within the same form. So they fill out one form and, and when they submit that form, they're joining Prosperity Marketing System and they're also that information is also being fed to your autoresponder. And this would use the integration, which is set up under the personal branding menu and autoresponder. All you need to do is fill in your autoresponder details there. If you choose option B, that means they are not going to be joining the prosperity marketing system. They will only be added to your autoresponder that you have specified under the personal branding autoresponder section. So they'll be added to that list and where you choose to redirect them after they fill out the form, that will be whatever you've set up within your autoresponder. The next option, option C, is your best option if you're promoting something else other than the prosperity marketing system. So instead of using the autoresponder that you set up under the personal branding autoresponder section, you can simply copy and paste the web form code that is provided to you by your autoresponder and then they'll be added using that form. This allows you to create uh, many different pages with many different uh, forms if you need them. Keep in mind with this option they will also not be joining the prosperity marketing system so if later you want to promote the prosperity marketing system Make sure to add a letter to your follow-up to uh, send them to the Prosperity Marketing System. The final option, D, is basically not using any form at all. So as you'll see, the forms are here. That will be removed. It's basically a simple splash page. So you'd want to put a link redirect to send them somewhere at least. And that's probably the most rare option there. I'm going to go with option A since I'm going to be promoting the prosperity marketing system. And next you need to choose your squeeze page type. Normal squeeze page is simply text and the opt-in form and video squeeze page is a video in the opt-in form and you have some text above with the headline. For this example I'm just going to choose normal squeeze page and save. After you save, you'll be redirected to a page where you can edit your squeeze page. So as you can see, there's pencil icons here to edit the text for each paragraph. Now we've populated the page already with copy that you could actually use if you're promoting the prosperity marketing system and you could use the page as it is or edit as little or as much as you want. So if you wanted to keep what we've provided, all you'd have to do is click Done Editing uh, to continue saving this page and creating it. Of course, I would go to the bottom here, click on the pencil, and at least edit your name at the very least. 
Let's say you do want to make changes and you want to make a unique page using this template. I'm going to show you the different options right now. The first part is the website settings. The, uh, as you can see, the name of your page is right here, and this is used as the title tag. And then you can also edit any meta keywords and meta description. This is basically just for SEO purposes. So if you don't want to edit any of that, then the template settings is where you edit most of the uh, look and feel of the page. I'm going to open that up. Now, first you can choose your template design. As you can see, there's seven different color combinations. So if you want, I mean, you can't break this. You can choose a color that you like and save the changes. And then as you'll see, it's uh, changed the color of the background there. Now, the headline is still the original color, as you can see. So if I want to change that, I can change that by going to edit your logo image, create logo. So first I'm going to change my site name and then change this. As you can see, you can make some other changes you want to the text. I'm going to save that. It's creating the graphic. You could also have uploaded your own graphic. And as you'll see now, it's changed the color, so I'm going to go back, and now you can see that it matches. Now you could have kept the same text in there if you want, and uh, save it, and it will match up the color. Next, I'm going to go back down to template settings, and the graphic headline is the part that is right above the text in the opt-in form. So I'm going to just put headline and subhead just so you can see what it looks like and then again you can choose some different styling changes I'm going to save that then close as you can see here there's some small text here followed by the larger headline the next part we need to edit is the opt-in form uh, section which is right here it's actually above the opt-in form as you can see this graphical area here I'm going to click Opt Form Settings. So first I'm going to choose what color I want to use. And if I want to match it with the other one, I'm going to use probably four. And I'm going to save that change. Then I'm going to go to Headline Copy. And I'm going to just type in the sections here so you can see what it looks like and where it's supposed to be. Save those changes. And as you see, that's what the new colors look like. So I'm going to close that. So as you see, I have my new uh, opt-in form header, as you could say, right here. If I don't like those colors, I can always go back and change it to something different. So I'm going to choose two. I'm going to close that. You have to go actually edit the text so it creates the image again for you. And then you close the window. And I think this looks a little better. So I'm going to keep that one. And as you see, this form here doesn't actually change unless you're using your own opt-in form. And finally, you can change the font style by going to the style settings and just typing in the number of the font that you like here. You can also, you'll, you'll want to make sure to edit each of the sections. You have a lot of uh, control over what you put in here. You can put images uh, and you can change the complete style of the text using the editor. So once you're done with all of your changes and you like the way you look, the page looks. That's how it's going to look for the user, except, of course, they're not going to see these pencil icons. And I'm going to click Done Editing. And as you'll see, it says the page was created successfully. So next, you'll be brought to the Manage Splash Pages 
section where you can edit, delete, and even download your splash pages. So how to get there is by going to the personal branding and then manage splash pages on the menu. You can actually see how many hits you got to the page, how many people signed up who basically filled out the form. But I would recommend to use uh, a tracking tag or to use the a tracking system to also measure that. So you can even create a duplicate of a page. So if you want to create the same exact page, you can create it and then go open it up and make a few changes and that allows you to even split test pages to see make small changes and see which one converts better. So have fun with it. Of course, if you're a member of the prosperity marketing system and you're promoting the prosperity marketing system, you don't have to create your own squeeze page. You can use the ones that we've already created and ready to go for you. So I mean, that's completely up to you if you want to go an extra step to create something custom or not. So I'll see you later. Take care.